what we're going to do today, so we're going to look at maps. And uh, one student has already asked about identifying key features. So we'll go through key features and have a look. So we look at our introduction, overview, and body paragraphs. And then look at the different forms we can use, passive forms to describe proposed changes. Okay. And we look at accurately describing locations as well using prepositions. So there is a map. And there is the prompt. So just read that. Okay. Now, so what do you have to do in task one? What do you have to do? What is this task? What do we have to do in this task? Yeah, Neo. Yeah, we're describing hero goon. So we're describing a map. Okay. And <clears throat> how many words? Okay, good. And how long are you expected to spend on task one? Yeah recommended you spend 20 minutes so what are you going to do in your description what will you do in the description what do you have to do mm -hmm. compare yeah describe changes okay so when looking at summarizing the information <clears throat> and selecting the key features okay so understanding the map so what is this map describing then so marim ashiel you're already ahead of me good yeah So what else is it doing? Changes, uh-huh, good. Proposal, yeah, good. So time periods, future plans, yeah, and near present, yeah. Good, present and future, Stephen, good. Evelyn, good. No, good. Maureen, yeah, good. So how is this going to affect your language use then? How will this affect your language use? Okay, Jam, good. Irene, good. Fam, okay, good. Sharon, yeah. Good, good, good. So we'll be using present and future. Okay, good. So now identifying key features though. So we'll look at <clears throat> present and future. Okay, Mahin, no problem. I'll go slow for you, very slow. Yeah, so Miriam, don't worry, we'll come on to the passive. So don't worry. So we're going to look at the present and the future. So what changes can you see? What changes can you see? Yep. 
more space, enclosed, <clears throat> yeah, extra pool, sports shop, good additional features, dance studios, yeah, removal of the outdoor courts, very good, additional changing room, yeah, good, cafe, yeah, good. So, which would you say are the most important changes? Which you, would you say are the most important changes? Outdoor courts, yeah. Additional space. Leisure pool and sports hall, good. Hi, yeah. Dance studios, done up good. So, previous outdoor courts, yeah, good, good. So, outdoor courts, yeah, they were obviously outside. So, what's happened now to the sports center? Yeah, it's larger, yeah. Alex, yeah, good, it's enclosed. Very good. Right. Now, how do you think you could group them together? How do you think you could group these changes together? Okay, leisure pool, uh-huh. Direction, mm -hmm. more indoor facilities here, yeah, good, good. Indoor, outdoor, yeah. West side one paragraph, east side another, okay. As ever with the task one, there's a number of different ways you can group the information together and show the changes. Okay. Good. So let's have a look at the present situation. So it's smaller. We've got outdoor courts and we've got fewer facilities. Okay. And in the future, it's going to be bigger. Everything's inside, so it's enclosed. And then we've got the pool, the sports hall, and the dance studios. Okay, good. Very good. So just have a look at present and future before we move on to the next slide. Okay. So structure. So Obviously, we've got our introduction. What are you going to put after your introduction? What's going to go next? Well, think about organization first before we go into detail. So, Neo, good, yeah. And after our overview. What will we put? Yeah, body one. Patchy, good. Sharon, yeah. New, good. So body A, or body one. Following that, so details. So Alexis, no, there's no conclusion in <clears throat> writing task one. No conclusion, Nima. Okay, so save the conclusion for task two because it has an opinion in it. Okay, so our overview acts as a summary sentence. So, what will we do in the introduction? What are we going to do in the introduction? What do we need to do? Are we just going to repeat it from the question? So, yeah, rephrase. Okay. 
And how many sentences would you say? Approximately. Sky says two, two to three. Okay. So one or two, Miriam. Yeah, good, good. That should be enough. Now, what are you going to do? What will you do in your overview? What will you do in your overview? General changes, yeah. Good. Main changes, good. So about two or three key changes, good. How many sentences do you think you would use? Okay, Alexis, see that? Okay, so between two to four sentences should be enough. All right. So what will you put in body A? What are you going to put in body A? Okay, present map. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, present layout. Yeah, well, specific information, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So we will look at one group of specific changes. How many sentences do you think you would write? So three to five, yeah, okay, three to five. What about body B? What's going to go in there? Okay, so a second group of specific changes. Same number of sentences. Yeah, Parigia, good, yeah. So three to five sentences. So that's going to be our structure there. So if you've just joined us and you're not sure of the structure, just have a look at that. Remember, um, we also have a YouTube site, so you can look at the videos on YouTube, okay? If there's something you don't catch, so don't worry too much about it. But just take that in, all right? Okay, good. Right. So, introduction. It's often the hardest part for students to write. So, how are we going to paraphrase? So, what are we going to do? So, sky synonyms. Anton, yeah. <clears throat> So synonyms, yeah, Alexis, word order, good. I can tell some of you have been here before. So word form, yeah, very good. Word order, good. Okay. And then voice. <clears throat> Very good. So, how do you think you would paraphrase this question? So, if there's any quick typers there, would you like to rephrase it and type it into the chat box? If you're quick at typing, anyone want to give that a try? Okay. Uh, <coughs> leisure center and unspecified university will be changed. So Pam, David, not too bad. <coughs> it's quite good. Um, Pam, you don't necessarily need to use below because remember when you're actually writing, the map's not going to be below, so you don't really need it. Okay. Max depict modernization of the University Sports Center. Okay, 
Mahina would avoid using we, okay? It's not very formal, so avoid using we. Okay, provide details about the differences between the universe before and after renovation. Yeah, quite good, Sky. All right, let's have a look. So, show. What would you change that to then? Okay, good. Just looking at the introductions coming in. <clears throat> illustrate, yeah, illustrate, illustrate. Okay. Illustrates is probably more appropriate than depicts. Okay, University Sports Center now. Plan for something to use when you planned. Yeah, that's Miriam, that's good. Well done. Uh, I wouldn't really say portrays Dev. I think illustrates is more appropriate there. Okay. After redevelopment. Ah, oh, Nida. Okay, good vocab there. Right, let's have a look. So the plans. So, lots of you said illustrate, so we'll put that in. The, so think of what's happening now, yeah. So, what's happening now, yeah, present, okay. Think of another word beginning with C. Okay current layout of. So how do you think you might rephrase the next part? Oh, Sky, very good. Almost a sports complex of a university. Good. Proposed future improvements. My mouse is very sensitive. I gave you that one. Okay. So just have a look at that. So those of you who are new, just look how we've rephrased the prompt. Okay. So we've used synonyms, different word form, word order, and voice. Okay. Well done. So some good answers coming back. Well done, guys. So writing an overview. So if you don't have an overview on your task, what's going to happen if there's no overview? What's going to happen? Alexis, yeah. Jim, yeah. So you won't score higher than a five if there's no overview, okay? So if there's no clear overview, you've got a problem, yeah? So for band six up, you must have an overview, okay? So we've got our present situation, our present, smaller outdoor courts, fewer facilities, and we said it's going to be bigger, it's enclosed, and now we've got the new pool, sports hall, uh, <clears throat> and dance studios. So, essential for band six, so you must have that. We usually teach students to put it second, because then it's on the page. Okay, what else about your overview? Well, we discussed earlier, you're going to have to summarize the key changes, most important features. And then lots of people are saying, start with the overall. Yeah. So one to three sentences. Now, why do you not go into any detail in your overview? Why don't you go into any detail? Why is it general? 
Uh, Dev, I wouldn't use all in all, it's more like a conclusion. Neither, yeah, good. So you don't want to put any detail in there because if you do, you're losing information from the body paragraphs, okay? And then a number of you have said already, begin with overall. If you put overall, it's very clear to the examiner that that's your overview if you've got overall. So that's all you have to use. Overall, da 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 da, da. So, so no in conclusion. So save that for your task two, all right? So overall. Oh, good question, Peringia. But I can't really think of one at the moment. <laughs> overall is the best word. Don't worry about that. Yeah. So if, even if lots of people use it, don't worry. It's the perfect word. Yeah. So let's have a look. Overall, the sports center is, what are we going to have there? Okay, good. All right, let's have a look. Plan predicted. Okay, good. So expected. Yeah, dev, very good. The outdoor courts. So again, think about what's happening now. Okay, yeah, Jim, yeah, and Rita. So currently in place will be removed and what? Sky. Okay. Replaced with new. Good. Everyone's got that. Good, Mia. Yeah, good. Let's have a look. Yeah. Indoor facilities. Fong, good. Hira, yeah, good. Well done. What's going to be going there? Neil, yeah, good, very good. Evelyn, yeah. Alexis, good. Laura, good. Very good, such as. Okay, so just have a look at how we've summarized those changes there. So just have a look at what we've done. Those of you who are new or haven't seen a map before, so we've just summarized the most important changes, so the key changes, okay? So we haven't put any specific detail in there, it's general. Good. So let's have a look at our body paragraphs then. So, it's a good idea to group details together. Then, you know, this is going to show a nice logical flow. So how do you think you would group these together? How do you think you'd group details together? Alexis, present and future, uh-huh. Good. West, East, mm -hmm. Okay, present and future, Evelyn. Yeah, so there's a number of different ways you could do this. So the type of change, how important that change is, and then the location. So some of you mentioned the location there, which is good. Or you could do it 
like most of you said, the present description and also the future plans. Okay. I think most people chose the second option there, present description and then future plans. So that's how we can organize our task one there, the body paragraphs. Okay, good. Right, let's have a look at body A. Right, I'll give you some vocabulary, see if you can choose the correct location word to go in. Okay, so everyone's got south. Okay, good. Next one. Okay, let's have a look. In two, meeting two. Okay. Jim, good. Alexis, very good. All right. What's going to go next? Sky behind, Miriam behind. Yeah, good. What do you think will go next? <clears throat> okay. Let's have a look. On either side, very good. Shubham, yeah, good. Parig, yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Next, let's have a look. Okay, yeah, at the rear. Ooh, I gave you outside there. My mouse is far too sensitive. Okay, so that only leaves us with east and west. There we go. So just take a look at that. Very good. Pachu, yeah, good. Alabintan, yeah, very good. Okay. So, now you'll notice that we begin with the most logical place. So that's going to be the entrance, yeah? That's the most logical, yeah? And then we've got our time at present. And then we've got our present tense is, has, are, and then we can use pronouns, linkers to connect features and add detail. So this, which, and finally, respectively. Okay, so just have a look. Just give you some time to take that in. The language we've used Okay, so that's our first paragraph. So good, everyone did a good job on that, very good. So let's have a look at body paragraph B. Okay, have a look at the map. Okay, Pachu, hopefully the sound is going to be okay. So we look at the future changes. Yeah. Amrita, yeah, Oscar, good. So what verbs can you use to talk about the future? So think about some verbs. Yeah. Dev, good. 
going to yeah good oscar yeah david good our plant will of course yeah will be laura projected depending on what we're looking at yeah if you were looking at data that would be fine proposed so let's have a look So the university will build a changing room. The centre is going to replace the outdoor courts. They are planning a new sports hall. They expect, a lot of you put planning, expect, going to, will, and are set to remove the outdoor courts. So everyone's doing well got the right vocabulary so that's good so we've got active so how would you change the first one into the passive how would you change the first one into the passive so yeah well you're going to use the past participle plus ed usually yeah changing room will be built will be built okay good Let's have a look. There we go. Good. Will be built. Sharon, good. Ashu, yeah, good. Colleen, good. Very good. The outdoor courts. Very good, Evelyn. Okay, there we are. Are going to be replaced yet? Yeah. Next one. Okay, good. Let's have a look. So is planned. Next one. Okay. Just a bit of a de delay on the text box there, guys. Let's have a look. There we are. No, no, that's it. We're back. I thought we were going to crash there, but we're not. Good. Yeah, expected to be built. Yeah. Good. And the last one. Okay, okay, everyone's answers are coming through now all of a sudden. There was a little bit of a freeze on the text box there. Okay, good. Right. There we go. Set to be removed. Okay, good. Now I'm just going to let your answers come through, just so we don't have a technical problem. Lots of things are coming through all at once here. So just take a look at those forms, look at the passive, okay? Okay, good. So everyone's doing well there. David, yeah. Tito, good. Stephen, yeah, good. Very good. So those of you who are new, just take a look at those forms, active and passive.
Okay. So we'll look at some useful language here. So So what changes do you see here? What changes do you see here? Okay, so the center set to remove the outdoor courts. Now, how would you change it into the passive? Phone, good, yeah, dev, good. So there we go, that's set to be removed. Now, think about a noun form. Okay, Alex, yeah, good. Madringa, yeah. So proposed changes will include. Okay. Removing. Okay. Outdoor courts. Very good. All right, what can we see here? <clears throat> what changes have we got here? Okay, let's have a look then. The university. Mm hmm Okay, that's really good. Let's have a look. Expects to build. Okay. Let's have a look at the next one. Now we'll change it into the passive. Good, Alexis, yeah. <coughs> Almost Nemo, yeah. Amrita, yeah, good. So, expected. Very good. Expected to be built. Think about a noun form. Okay, good. Expected. Sky, very good. And then building. Okay, very good. So it looks like you guys are pretty good with maps so far. So just have a look at those. Very good. So We'll have a look at some language to describe changes. Again, what do you see here? Well, I'll give you a clue. Let's have a look. Yeah. Okay, good. So, yeah, there's a number of different words. Alexis, yeah, good. You could use there. There's a number of different words. Okay. What do you think you would put in that gap?
Hira, yeah, good, very good. Yeah, good. Right, now have a look at a noun form. Very good, Sky. Yeah, very good. Okay, planned, yeah, and then creating. We'll include creating. Okay, good. Very good, Nemo. Yeah, Alabatan. Yeah, good. All right, let's have a look at our paragraph. So we'll focus on the future plans here regarding the, what do you think you're gonna put there? What will you put there? All right, let's have a look. Proposed developments. Yeah. Dari, how you saw the, yeah, that would work. That would work. Alexis, yeah, that would also work. So there's a number of different ways we could say that. Future, proposed, planned. Right. What do you think is going to go in that gap? Okay, there's just a little delay on the chat box. So I'll just wait for you guys to put them in. Removed, okay, good. Well done, Mustafa. Yeah, Sharon, well done. And the building will Alabantan, yeah, good. So become. Okay. Now I'll give you a clue for the last. Nothing changes. Evelyn, yeah, very good. So while. Yeah. Alexis, good. Good. The wrong, yeah, good, the same. Okay, what's gonna go into the gap there? Okay, additional changing room. So there's going to be one more, an additional one is okay, long, yeah, good. Expected to be built. Okay. Oops. In the now, think about what a so I missed that because of the chat box. So I was going to say what a bird has or uses to fly. So, okay. Yeah, good, use the directions. It's gonna be nice if you do that. East wing, Evelyn, Ayrton, yeah, Adelaide, good. 
And uh, what are you going to put in there? Okay, there's a little gap there. Let's have a look. So good job. And then, of course, the cafe in the reception area. So unfortunately, my mouse is very sensitive. I gave you that. So good. Very good. So just have a look at that. And then we'll have a look at the whole text. OK. So we've got the time, proposed developments, future forms. So we've got will, obviously, expected to be. And then we've got pronouns, adjectives, linkers to connect the features and add detail. Yeah. Well, I, Neo says it's very tough. I think often with maps, they look a lot more difficult than they actually are. Yeah, but we've re used a very good range of vocabulary through this. And then there's our linkers and adjectives. So while additional further and okay, so there it is. So just have a good look at that. Okay, I'm just going to try and move the chat box if I can without crashing. Okay, so those of you who are new, I'll just give you a few seconds to look at that if you haven't done a map before. So now what I'll do is in a minute, I'm going to answer a few questions, but a few tips to finish off. So make sure you have a plan and you don't want to spend more than 20 minutes. Are you going to do your task one first or last? Which will you do it first or last? Okay. Okay, a few people saying first, don't do your task one first. Always do it last because it accounts for a third of your marks. So, for example, if you did your task one first and you didn't finish your task two, then you've got a big problem because you're likely to lose your conclusion. Okay, so do it last. Okay, don't worry too much about counting your words. And then make sure you edit, you proofread once you've finished. Checking for errors, okay? And then you can download an official answer sheet off the IELTS website and you can practice writing on that. Although I know a lot of people are actually taking the online test now, okay? And then have a look at a range of different maps. Some of you said that was quite complex. So pull a few off the internet and have a look. Also, obviously you can look at our website. So before I answer any of the questions, a um, couple of links there for some of our extra services. So we do have a very experienced team of ex-examiners that can actually evaluate or give you an approximate band score for your writing and speaking. So those are our premium services. So I would suggest if you want to, before you book the test, it's probably a good idea that you actually had someone assess your writing and speaking and you know what would be your approximate band score. And then we've got our website there, IELTS Online Tests. And then 
We've got lots of videos on there for listening, reading. We've got writing examples on there. And we've also got our YouTube channel. So you can look at some of the previous webinars, have a look on that. And also we've got our Facebook group. Okay. So now what I'll do, I'll leave those up so you can copy those. All right. I was going to try and copy and paste some, but unfortunately I can't because I need to get onto my document. So um, I'll just give you, you can take maybe a screenshot of those and then you've got them, all right? Because I want to quickly answer a few questions. So that was quite lengthy. So what I'll do is just go into questions if I can unfortunately it doesn't look like it's going to let me pull down just a second now let me see for some reason the Q&A box is not coming down so just give me a second so actually if you want to just gonna move that. Is it going to come down? Come on. Yes, it's gonna come down, but we're only gonna have five minutes. There we are. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. So let's have a look at some of the questions. I'll see how many I can get through. Probably not that many. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, Pachu Pachu, whose voice is recorded in the IELTS listening test? Lots of different uh, speakers, okay? So you have speakers from New Zealand, Australia, maybe America. So you have lots of them, yeah? So they couldn't be from any country, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so what you want to do is maybe get on to listen to some TED Talks because you've got lots of different people um speaking okay um lots of different speakers from different countries so you could try 10 talks long if i describe carefully the changes and use between 150 and 200 words but i use simple grammar it'll affect my band score it will because obviously if you're using simpler grammar then it's obviously going to affect your score so if you're looking for a seven, eight, even going to the magic nine, then you need to be using a, a range of complex grammar and vocabulary, okay? Otherwise it's going to keep you lower down. Now let's see, Sharon, oops, stay still. Is it mandatory to make sure you write 150 words? Uh, yes, I would aim for 150 words. So don't worry if you're over 150 words, but you don't really want to be under 150 words. Okay, so it's recommended. Similarly for task two. Uh, can we send, Dana, can we compare two centers in two bodies? Yeah, you could do that basically like we did. Yeah. So we answered your uh, question, Donna, by the presentation, really. Okay. So, okay, some of you have just been putting the answers to that. Uh, Neo, how about if I'm confused with the direction on the task, like this picture, and I wrote wrong in my essay, do I lose marks or the examiners will consider content only? Um, if the, some of the key features near are incorrect, then obviously you will lose marks. But usually, one thing I didn't mention about maps, obviously you've got your directions, north, south, east and west, but on some maps you'll have a key underneath to help you. Okay, there'll be a key underneath. Yeah, so you do want to try and get the key features correct. Uh, 
Is there any link of heading matching? Uh, I'm sure there should be matching headings tasks coming up, Cyan. Yeah, we aim to get through all of the reading question types. So if there hasn't one, I don't know if there has been a matching headings. You can check on our YouTube site and see if there are then there any there. Okay. Here, will the sequence be the same for charts? Sorry, that's just gone crazy there. Let's see here. Will the sequence even be the same for charts and graphs? No, it'll be slightly different depending on what you're looking at here and how you organize the information. So some charts and graphs for example like a bar chart or a table you might have a lot of information a uh, line graph you know so the, the way you organize it is going to be slightly different depending what information you're looking at nat why we need to have different changes from active to passive so it shows a good range of a good range of control so if you're using the passive, then it shows you've got a good understanding of the language. Okay. You can use a mixture of active and passive, but it's going to show a good control of language features. Okay, guys. Sorry, we didn't get through a lot of questions today. Um, but I wanted to go through that nice and clearly for those of you who are new and you know give you time to absorb what we were doing so i'll see you in the next webinar thanks for coming make sure you check out our website uh, for up and coming webinars and we've got a lot of materials on there to help you practice like i said you can check out our youtube page and facebook group and if you need any help or want an approximate band score, then you can have a look at our premium services with speaking and writing evaluations. Okay, guys, thanks for coming and see you soon. Bye for now.